Welcome to today's episode of a technical look into ammunition. Today we will look at Federal Ammunition who is a lead producer in the small arms ammunition industry. They sell premium ammunition that caters to the outdoor and home defense industry. Their motto is every shot counts. The Federal shotgun shell is one of the most popular shells on the market. To understand it further, we will go inside its components and conduct several field tests. Let's take a look. So here we have four boxes of Federal shotgun ammunition. We have their 12 gauge promotional shell for breast cancer. Oftentimes Federal will do that. We have their regular 12 gauge shell in a regular box. We have a regular 20 gauge shell which is a smaller shell in size and circumference. We also have a 12 gauge slug which differs from a regular shot shell and we will, we will further elaborate on that further down the road. These are the four general types of shotgun ammunition. Uh, Federal also makes police cartridges, pistol cartridges, um, they make rifle cartridges, and they make smaller caliber cartridges such as 22 long rifle, and that shell is very small. There's also smaller calibers of shotgun shell such as 410. Um, overall these are the four general types of shells. These are the five components of the shotgun shell. You have the shell with the casing uh, and the outer rim. You have the shot, the smokeless powder, which is our main component, that's the supply chain. And then we have the wad, in this case it's a two-piece wad, and a primer. And the way that all these function together is the wad cases the shot, and the wad and shot go in front of the powder and then the primer ignites the powder which causes combustion to occur and that pushes the expansion gases push the wad and shot out of the uh, shotgun barrel and then the shot spreads out and hits whatever it needs to and these are the five basic components here we have two types of gunpowder we have the smokeless powder which is used in small arms ammunition today and also in the shotgun shell. It is cleaner, stronger, and is less corrosive to the gun. We also have black powder which was used before smokeless powder. And black powder is, is very dense, it burns with a lot of residue and is very corrosive to the gun and that's why we have moved over to smokeless powder. Here's how smokeless powder burns. Here's how black powder burns. Here we have a shot shell and a slug shell. This right here is a slug and this right here is shot. They differ in this way only. Everything else, the component makeup is the same. Um, you can see the slug right here is open and the shot has to be closed in because the slug is only one piece and this is about 50 or 60. So this is the main difference between a slug and a shot shell. So here we have a shoot and see target down on that board down there and I'm going to shoot a shot round at it. One that has lead shot, not a slug, lead shot. And this is a 12 gauge round. So here we go. So here we have a shoot and see target and I've got a slug round and hopefully if I hit the target it'll light up green. Again this is a slug round. So here's the effect that a slug has on a target and here's the effect that a shot shell has on a target. This is why you don't want to be on the other end of a shotgun. <laughs> 